Hi everyone, it's Phil here from Ashland Leather and today I thought it'd be a really good opportunity to compare and contrast some different grain characters on a bunch of different leathers. I've got nearly a hundred different items today, including some steer hide chrome excel. I've actually got some pit tanned deer skin here. We've got shell cordovan, a bunch of different textures. I even have some bison chrome excel leather here, some NBA basketball. We've got some tumbled shells and a bunch of other stuff. All right, let's get into the grain comparison here. We're going to start off with the famous Horween chrome excel leather. This is a giant of the fox in natural chrome excel. And if you look closely, you can see just how smooth and polished in the chrome excel is. This is actually a polished grain. It is a full grain leather, but it's very much filled in. So you see a nice little sheen to it, but there's not a whole lot of texture and character. I'm going to pull out a piece of Dublin here this is actually a really special bugs moran for a special customer this is incredible grain character and these bits of texture here you can actually feel the highs and lows of that texture this is not a consistent thing that the tannery can produce so these are a little bit more random most times the leather is much more flat and doesn't have this sort of wrinkled up drawn sort of look and let's do a side by side comparison here with the dublin on the top you can really see all the texture and grain character in the dublin where the chrome excel is much more smooth now let's compare the dublin here with some bison chrome excel and this bison chrome excel has actually been debossed to accentuate the the bison character and you can see that really intense character but if you look down the spines of both of these you can see they're both very grainy and when i talk about grain here there's actually two different things to observe uh, not only that just the texture of this bison that's very visible or even the texture on this dublin that's also quite visible there's a finer detail to look at and if you look really closely you can see all these very small hair holes in the leather that's another bit of grain character a lot of people call something like this dublin uh, they will refer to it as full grain if you look closely here at the chrome excel piece on the right you can see the grain is just a little bit more filled in as opposed to the more pronounced grain on the left so we have the chrome excel leather here this is actually steer hide on the outside and we have horse hide on the inside if you look really closely you can see the horse character is a little bit more pronounced of a grain compared to the steer on the back and when we compare the steer hide chrome excel to the bison chrome excel you can sort of immediately see the difference here and again a lot of this is the debossed texture that's been impressed onto this piece of bison and i have one more very interesting piece here this is actually a two-shot card case that we're putting up on the website right now. This is a pit tanned deer skin on the back here. This is actually pit tanned chrome excel on the deer. If you look really closely, this character that I see here really, really looks like deer. And it's kind of hard to see unless you're very familiar with different grain characters. It's a little bit more of a rugged look on the deer skins. And I'm just going to show it to you here because I have a hard time describing it. They're a little bit more of a linear pattern in the grain character. And let's compare that again to the steer hide on the right here. It's a little bit more flat and smooth where this deer skin has a very specific sort of more linear grain. And like I mentioned on this bison piece here, of course, we can impress this texture into the leather. You can press an infinite amount of textures. And one of my favorite textures here is actually this Western texture that Horween does. And we've put this Western texture on some Color 8 Shell Cordovan. And I just love this look. So we actually have five of these two shots available in the Color 8 Western with the Color 8 Pit Tan Deerskin. And perhaps one of the more famous textures that Horween does, this is actually basketball texture. And it's the same texture as the NFL football. Many people might not know this, but Horween Leather here in Chicago, they actually make all of the leather for the NFL footballs as well as the NBA basketballs, like this piece here. And this is a one-shot card case in the basketball leather that is also up right now. I have a couple more interesting pieces to show you. This is a pit tanned deer strip. This is actually a piece of leather that is tanned alongside the shell cordovan. A lot of people may have heard of some horse butt chrome excel or horse butt leather, horse rump it's sometimes referred to. That's what this is here. It's in a really nice color. This is actually the tan color. People are familiar with the horse butt by this texture right here. These more linear striations, and sometimes they're a little harder to see, but on this piece here, you can see a little bit more of that texture on the top, and it sort of goes down to the bottom. And again, if you look really closely down the spine of this wallet, you can sort of see some of that texture that I've been talking about. And on the horse strips, it's a very pronounced grain, kind of similar to the deer skin. And here's another really cool piece. This is actually a leather that I'm not sure what it's called, but I'm 
I'm going to call it raw latigo, and this is actually a corrected grain. So if you look really closely, the grain on this one has actually been sanded and buffed off. You can sometimes see a little bit more of a linear grain pattern that's more of like a mechanical look, uh, but it's kind of hard to see that. You have to look really closely for that. And speaking of looking closely, look very closely at the grain of this one. You can still see a bit of the grain, but it's more of a torn up sort of rough look. So here's a very interesting one. When we're talking about grain character, this leather here is the Shell Cordovan leather from Horween. And it's very unique because there's technically no grain at all to this leather. This is actually a membrane found within the skin of the hindquarters of all equine animals. And it's this very dense fiber layer that when finished is very smooth and polished and sort of doesn't have much grain character at all. It sort of looks like a bright shiny mirror. So this is a very unique leather. A lot of people assume that the word full grain means that it's the best but it's hard to judge things just by a single term because the Shell Cordovan does not have any grain on it at all technically. And most people consider the Cordovan leather to be some of the finest leather in the world. So if you flip the Cordovan backwards, this is something I call reverse Cordovan. So on the left card holders here and on the right card holders here, this is actually the reverse side of the shell. Technically, this is the grain side of the leather. So you can, see a little bit more of those hair holes, a little bit more texture on the reverse cordovan. And earlier this week, I took a spoon and polished up this piece of reverse cordovan. The cordovan and all veg tan leathers have a really great ability to sort of fill in and polish in. So if you look down the left so side of this card holder, that's where I polished this one with just some water and a spoon. And you can really see how much more filled in and bright and shiny this has become. So I mentioned the basketball texture and the Western texture. There are a bunch of other grain textures that can be pressed into the leather. This is a texture here called lizard. And I should mention that everything I'm showing you here, these are things that we're shipping out today, including this really interesting Western black shell capone. And there's some other unique things that you see from time to time. Take a look at this texture on the right side here. This is a very flat and smooth piece, but it appears to have a texture to it. It does not feel like highs and lows of texture here. It just sort of looks like that. I believe these are actually fat wrinkles in the animal and they're not controlled by the tannery. So these happen from time to time. A lot of people, including myself, really like this look, but we're not able to get it. And this is on a piece of marbled color eight shell. And this is sort of the total opposite of that. This is the raw natural shell cordovan where we have not applied anything to it. And this is a product in the leather industry that is often referred to as crust, where the leather has not had anything applied to it. All that's been done to this is the leather has been tanned. I have one last example to show you here. This is a tumbled shell cordovan. So unlike the marbled shells where we just have a color texture, this one actually has some highs and lows in feel. So there are little peaks and valleys that you can feel on this leather. This one is in the black shell cordovan where you don't get a whole bunch of color change, but there is a nice little depth of color from a black to a gray. On different colors of tumbled shells, you get more of these light tones that appear in the valleys and darker peaks. So going back to the beginning here, this is the natural chrome excel again, very flat, smooth and polished grain. It's a, a very unique look. And the Dublin here with extra grain character is also a unique look. The more of the story is that there are a bunch of different leather tannages and a bunch of different textures. So there's a bit of something for everybody, as including something so unique like the Shell Cordovan here, which does not have any grain at all. So one thing I would caution people of is be careful about the leather terms that people use, like top grain, full grain. Those sort of terms can be very misleading and not give you any useful information. Before we get into some of the wallets that we're shipping out for you today, I wanted to give you an announcement here of some small batch items and I wanted to feature Color 4 Shell Cordovan. And this is a Color 4 Shell Cordovan Bugs Moran here with a reverse interior. And for a bunch of years, for about a decade, the Color 4 was my favorite Shell Cordovan color. Just take a look at how beautiful this medium brown shade is. And it's got a lot of nice red undertones. Some angles, it looks a little bit more caramel. and some angles, it looks a little bit more reddish brown. I have this one with that really cool reverse interior that gives us an opportunity to show off a couple Horween ink stamps on this particular piece, as well as a bunch of die marks on the left and on the right. And here's another Color 4 Shell Cordovan piece. And this is a Bugs Moran also, but we've got Color 4 Shell on the outside as well as Color 4 Shell on the inside. This is a little bit more of a clean classic look. 
We've sort of done that same look here on the Fat Herbies, but this one is a really special double reverse Fat Herbie. And I call it double reverse because you get to see shell cordovan and reverse shell cordovan on the outside as well as shell cordovan and reverse shell cordovan on the inside. That's how I come up with the double. And I really like this contrast of that color four shell on top of the reverse color four on, on the outside here where we've cut a nice Horween ink stamp into the top center. We try to cut them all into really nice visible spots. And then the inside again here, we have those great die marks on the left and on the right. And here's another small batch item. This is a little bit more clean of a version of that same Fat Herbie. We've got color four shell inside and out. Just take a look again at this beautiful piece of color four. It's really great to be able to see such a large piece of shell and that's why I like the Fat Herbie. So we get a really good context of the leather. You, can see, you get to see all of that natural grain character that we were talking about. And of course the card holders on the inside of this one, more color four shell. And I do have one more small batch item here. This is a raw natural Johnny the Fox. And I love this leather for patina. So if you want a wallet that's going to change and develop with your style, that's how the raw natural came about. This was actually a dream of mine for a bunch of years to get something with the least amount done to it that will give you the most room to develop a patina. So it starts off this really interesting sort of matte finish here. There is a little bit of a sheen to it and it's a very light natural color. When this is worn, it gets much darker. It gets a lot more bright and shiny. It starts to look a little bit more glassy. Let me give you a look at the inside. This is a really cool. I like the reverse interiors on all the wallets. And on this Johnny the Fox, we've paired that raw natural with some reverse color eight on the inside. And all of those small batch items you can find on the flash sale page of our website, ashlandleather.com. I've also included some one shots and two shots onto that flash sale page. So let's take a look at all of them right here. So we've got a lizard color eight shell one shot card case here. This is a nice minimalist option for a lot of people. Here's another piece that corrected grain raw latigo that we looked at a little bit earlier. It's got a really firm temper on this particular piece of latigo and a really interesting grain. I'm kind of surprised at how much I like this particular piece of raw latigo. I might want to do some more of this. And here's another really cool one. This is that pit tanned chrome excel we looked at. This is actually the horse strip that is tanned alongside the shell cordovan in the tan color. This is a little confusing. Pit tanned, tan color. A lot of extra grain character on this particular piece. And this one here is that bison piece we looked at earlier. This is a really fascinating look for me. The navy chrome excel bison here. It's really neat. Some angles, it's a much more aqua blue shade. And then other angles, it appears a little bit more navy. And this bison texture this is definitely a unique look. And here's another really cool texture. This is that NBA basketball leather we looked at earlier. I've got about five of these basketball leather one shots. We've got three more options on the one shots that are brand new. This is a really cool piece of leather. This is a leather that is a variant on the Chrome Excel leather called Cavalier Chrome Excel. It's, it's pretty much the same thing, but the big difference between the Cavalier and the regular Chrome Excel is that the Cavalier has a lower oil content. And what that does is it allows you an opportunity to get more bright, vibrant colors because when the Chrome Excel leather is tanned, it's roughly 50% waxes and oil. So it's hard to get colors that aren't sort of muddy earth tones just because there's so much wax and oil in it. And here's the other piece of shell for the one shots that we have today. This is a natural shell cordovan one shot. And last but not least here, this is another pit tanned leather. This is a horse strip, the same leather that's tanned alongside the shell cordovan. And a lot of people like this one for this extra grain character that those pit tan strips have. The color here, if you look on the spine, you can see it's, it's color eight. So it's got this lighter, more sort of cherry color on the pull-up color and a little bit more of a darker brown shade on the surface. And let's move on to the two shots here. And this is a really special piece. I'm really happy with how these turned out. So this is Western Color 8 Shell Cordovan on some pit tan deer skin. So the centerpiece here, this is actually that deer skin we looked at earlier. I'll give you a look at the back of that pit tan deer skin for the back side of this two shot. If you're not familiar with the two shot, we call it a two shot because there's two card slots. So there's a card slot in the front and a larger one in the center. And I do have five of these two shot card cases available. I wanted to show you the edges because we've matched the color HL to the edge. We've actually stained it that same color HL and then applied a little bit of wax and burnished it. You have another special two shot to show you here. This is black shell cordovan with that Western texture. And we can, we have those really nicely stained edges. 
to match the black shell on the front. This one's a little bit different. We don't have the pit tan deer skin on this, but we do have some black Dublin, which is also a veg tan leather. So black Western shell on top of black Dublin. And the backside of it is also that black Dublin with this really interesting grain character. And we have a couple more two shots that are available. This is a reverse color eight two shot where we've tried to cut the Horween ink stamp onto the back. There's actually two of these that are currently available. And here's a fun one in the black reverse shell cordovan. This one's actually a three shot card case. So we have one card holder on the front, one on the back, and then one in the center. And if you're into those green shades, this is actually reverse green on top of some dark green shell. Let me give you a look at the back side where we have more dark green shell cordovan. Here's another three shot, but this is a really, really cool reverse black with extra dye splatter. So we've got all these little bits of dye on the front and a little bit more on the back. And the last two shot to show you, this is dark green shell cordovan on top of reverse green shell. And we've got dark green shell on the back as well. All right, let's get into some of the stuff that is shipping out today. And we're going to start off here first with this really cool fat Herbie. And this is English tan Dublin on top of some black Dublin. Then we've got this tan thread along the edge. And on the inside here, we've got some hidden card slots in English tan Dublin. These go all the way through the center here. And we've got our regular English Tan Dublin card holders on the left and right. And for comparison here, this is our standard Fat Herbie without those hidden card slots. We've got really incredible grain character on all of the Dublin. And specifically this piece is really, really intense and I really like it. It's got a great natural character. Here's another English Tan Dublin piece. And since the theme of the day is grain character, I wanted to point out these bits of striations on the leather. These are actually a texture that you can feel the valleys inside of there. And I think that's just a really nice piece of English tan Dublin. It sort of looks like a piece of wood. And we actually have that horsehide Dublin on the inside. The horse, again, has a little bit more pronounced grain. And here's yet another English tan Dublin piece. This is our Capone money clip in the English tan Dublin. This is the wallet that I've been using for, wow, almost six months, I think. This has a spring bar clip in the center that holds cash and the card holders. There's two on the inside, two on the outside. I've noticed that the card holders on the outside are really nice to use. They're just a really easy way to access your most used cards. Here's another Capone money clip, but this one is in the natural Chrome Excel. This is the most popular Chrome Excel color right now. And we were talking about the grain. It's a very flat and polished and smooth grain on all the Chrome Excel, including this natural. I'll give you a look at the inside of this guy. Here's another natural Chrome Excel piece, but this is a Frank the Enforcer card holder. So on the Frank, we have two card holders in the front. We've got one on the back and then this large slot in the center that will hold folded cash. And just take a look at that nice luster. It's got a really subtle sheen on all the Chrome Excel. Up next is a Bugs Moran, and this is a natural shell cordovan piece on the outside with that very much bright mirror-like shine. And the inside, we've got some unique stuff. So we have a reverse on the left with a nice Horween ink stamp. On the right here, this card holder is a little bit of whiskey shell cordovan. And we've got a couple smaller accessories here. This is a vault key holder in the marbled black shell cordovan. That's another texture and option that we can do on all the shells. Here's a two-piece watch strap in the classic color eight shell cordovan. This one is a 22 and it's a short length and we can do different lengths and different lug widths for all of our watch straps. Here's a valet tray again in the shell cordovan. We've got that really bright shiny look and I just love the color eight. There's a reason that this is the classic color. And take a look at the inside. This is where all your stuff is gonna sit right on top of this Horween ink stamp. And here's another classic color eight shell piece. This is a Tony the Ant and that really beautiful piece of color eight shell. It's a dark brown with burgundy undertones. Some, some angles, it's a little bit more red, a little purple sometimes. Let me give you a look at the inside, more Color 8 shell. This one's shipping out today along with all the other stuff. Here's another Color 8 shell piece. This is our Frank the Enforcer and that Color 8 shell, that bright mirror-like shine. Let me give you a look at the back of this guy. And here's a really special piece that we've been holding back for a while. This is that psychedelic shell cordovan for a really special customer. The bill slot on the back of this is that psychedelic shell on top of some garnet. And this one has been hand stitched with a nice blue stitching. And that is really, really nice. So we've got more psychedelic shell on the inside right. And on the left, we have marbled black shell and we have garnet hidden card slots. And here's another classic color eight shell piece. This is a Tony the Ant. And this is sort of like a mullet wallet where we've got the business on the outside, a really clean look, but take a look at the inside here with all this reverse shell and an incredible amount of dye splatter. Here's another Tony. This one's in the raw natural, that leather I really prefer for patina. It starts off a little bit light 
and a little bit more of like a matte finish, but it does develop to be much more bright and shiny, very glassy. We've got raw shell on the inside of this guy. And we're gonna go back to some of the stuff from the beginning of the video. This is a Capone money clip in the black Western shell on top of some garnet shell. We made this one to match a private stock wallet I actually filmed Amir making one of these about a month ago. So if you want to see how this wallet's made, check out the YouTube channel. And here's that marbled color eight shell piece. And this is on our version of a passport holder that we call the passport field notes holder. This is a very clean exterior, no card slots or anything on the outside. But on the inside, we've got a card slot on the right and you can fit your passport or a field notes under the left. This is some raw denim shell on the left. We got a lighter uh, color compared to the denim blue and much less of a bright shiny luster. It's very much a matte finish. This right here is actually the reverse side of some tumbled shell and it's a little bit more of a gray look. This is actually the reverse tumbled verdigris. Here's another look at that natural Chrome Excel Giant of the Fox that we're shipping out today. This is one of our most popular items right now. We sell mostly Giant of the Foxes. I think that's because most people envision a wallet to be in that sort of classic style. I'm gonna go back to this Bugs Moran again. This one is a custom order for a really special customer. We have incredible natural character on this English Tan Dublin. We've got a hand stitch along the outside and the inside, but this one is really special. This is the first time I've seen some hidden card slots on a Bugs Moran. So we've got English Tan Dublin and Black Dublin for the inside of this one. And let's revisit the small batch items that are now available on the flash sale page of ashwinleather.com. This one is really special with that color four shell double reverse. So we got that color four shell on the outside and reverse on the outside as well as color four shell and reverse on the inside. I think this one's my favorite of the small batches, but if you're looking for a little bit more of a clean look, we've got 100% color four. So you've got this continuous piece of color number four shell cordovan on the outside and another bit of clean look on the inside with color four shell for both of these card holders. And we really wanted to, to get back to some color four, some, some of the classics, some of the things that excited me and have continued to excite me for a decade and a half now. This color four shell on the Bugs and Ran is a beautiful color. It does range from a medium brown with reddish undertones to sometimes a little bit more of like a caramel color at certain angles, like you can see there. And on the inside of this one, we kept it clean with a matching color four shell interior. And here's sort of the inverse of that. We have the color four shell on the outside of this Bugs, but with a reverse interior. I really like the tie splutter on that guy. And then last but not least, for the small batch stuff, raw natural shell on the Giant of the Fox. And this is something that we did once before. It was very, very popular. People have been digging the raw shell and the patina that accumulates on this specific leather. And then on the inside, more reverse shell. And I just, again, I love a reverse interior for how it wears in. And on top of that, it's just a really unique look with all these random die marks. We get to see a little bit of the Horween ink stamp. So this is a really special day. We've got all these special small batch items going out, including the one shots and two shots. I'm gonna pick my stunner. I'm gonna go back to this double reverse shell, Fat Herbie. There's something magical about these color four shells that we cut these small batch items into. And again, I just love seeing the contrast from the shell side and the reverse on the inside and the outs. So thanks for checking that out. If you have any questions about grain character, definitely let me know. I'd love to answer those because part of the reason I do all this is to share the leather with more people, try to help you make a good choice about different leather goods because it's almost like learning a foreign language. So until next time, I hope you have a good one and have a great weekend.